Hi, this tutorial will go through Simple Notes synchronization. Simple Notes is available on the iPad and iPhone, and you can get information regarding the app from simplenoteapp.com. I had already dragged the URL into Scrivener's research. Simple Notes is available from the App Store. When you have created an account, you will see that Simple Notes on the iPad is a general note taking app. Pardon the pun, but you can very simply create notes. The first line of the text becomes a title for the note. If I now go back to Scrivener, I will show you how to sync a project with Simple Note. If I go to File, Sync with Simple Note, you see that I am initially prompted for my Simple Note account details. The only peculiar thing with this screen is that I am asked for a project keyword and I cannot continue without creating one. This is a word of your creation that you associate with this particular Scrivener project. It should be unique to your Simple Note account, bunched as a collection of words if necessary, and I would keep it short. I am going to associate Russian novel. I now have a few options to choose from. I can sync all text documents in my Scrivener project if I like, but the recommended choice is to only sync those documents you want to work on whilst using your mobile device. Below on the left, it shows all the documents that are available in the project's draft folder. On the right is a list of any other text documents that are elsewhere within the project. We can only sync text documents with Simple Note, no images, videos, or PDFs. If I wanted to sync all the documents from my draft, I could hold down the Option key while selecting a document. But what I'm going to do is select these three documents from the draft folder and a couple from elsewhere in the project. I get a green upwards arrow indicating that these text files are going to be uploaded into my Simple Note account. Going back to the other couple of options, I have Take snapshots of affected documents before updating. This is good to always have on, as it will create a backup of the local version before uploading it to the Simple Note server, or before a local version gets overwritten from the server. If delete from Simple Note any project documents not selected for syncing is checked, it will do just that. Let's continue to step 2. Step 2 looks on Simple Note for documents that it believes belong to this project. Any identified documents will be placed in the list on the left. Other unassociated notes will be placed in the list on the right. I only have the Welcome to Simple Note and the note I just created in my account at the moment. So this is all pretty barren. I can choose where to import any notes to within my Scrivener project here. Anyway, let's sync. If I now go back to the Simple Note app on my iPad, you can see that the five documents I selected have been uploaded. Simple Note has used the title of the Scrivener document and then in brackets placed the unique keyword I associated with my Scrivener project. There is also a unique ID stated within square brackets that Scrivener uses to sync with the correct document within the project. These parameters should obviously not be altered. Another good use of the keyword in Simple Note is to filter documents. Not much of an issue now but your Simple Note account will probably fill up rapidly. So, I'm now out and about with my iPad and can edit documents as I wish. I will edit this one. But suddenly, I might have an idea related to the Scrivener project, but not this particular note. I can simply press the plus button and type the title of my new note with the project keyword placed in brackets after. Then I can write what was so important. Let's create another note too without associating a keyword. It was a short day out and I'm now back in Scrivener and ready to sync. File, sync with Simple Note. My account logon details are remembered by the project. Now, these two draft documents have not been changed, nor the couple from elsewhere in my project but you can see a red download arrow associated with a document that I did edit. If I press continue, you can also see that the new project associated note I created is marked for importing, and the random note that I made is also listed on the right. I can assign that note to this project if I want to, but I'm just going to sync. I now have a collection containing my sync documents from Simple Note. If I open snapshots in the inspector and compare, you can see the edit that I made whilst working remotely. The newly imported document does not have a snapshot associated. 
If I go to View, Reveal in Binder, there is a new document added to the bottom of my draft folder and my edited document has been updated. If I add another edit and go to Sync, you will see that the document is now marked for uploading to Simple Note. One thing to bear in mind is that Simple Note is a plain text environment. Any text formatting will be lost during synchronization, but only with paragraphs that have been edited. Thanks for watching.